Cancer, hold on to your hat because we are about to go on a brand new direction here. My spirit guide Fred has led us on an entirely different direction. We took all of these cards, I'll show you a little tiny sneak peek there that um, it's interesting. So sit tight and let's find out what's gonna happen. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to your Cancer reading, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome, welcome. We are gonna be using the Queen of the Moon Oracle and the Lightseer's Tarot for you in the YouTube portion of your video today, Cancer. All right. Let's see. Ooh, that one wanted to go back in. That was action. Maybe somebody was going to take action, change their mind. And instead they're staying on focused on some sort of transformation. Okay. We're going to look at that here in just a minute, but I would like to welcome back Empress Empire, my VIP group. Super happy to have you here. If you're interested in becoming a VIP, we have career readings over there, twin flame readings, messages from spirit, and the occasional zoom meeting with me. <laughs> So if that is of interest to you, there is a link down below to join Empress Empire in the description box. We'd love for you to do so. If you are not a subscriber, we'd love for you to subscribe. I like to welcome my subscribers. You guys keep me going every single day, doing stuff behind the scenes as well as in front of the camera, just for you. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for your love and support. If you are brand new, welcome. You may hear me talk about Fred. He's my spirit guide. <laughs> He's a character and a half. We also, you also may hear me talk about Cecil. He's also a spirit guide of mine or Sylvia. So if you hear me talk about any of those, you'll know why. All right. Oh, just like Fred did with Pisces <laughs> and Aries. Or it was Virgo. Cards ahead of time. Two of swords. So you're sitting in indecision, which goes right here with your focus card, Cancer. There is something that you're focusing on transforming with the butterfly. The butterfly is a transformation, right? You're trying to gain an intuitive, intuitive perception on, okay, well, how can I transform this situation? And with the two of swords, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if I want to. I don't really know. Let's look at that before we move on to your spread. Talk to us about the Two of Swords, Fred. The moon. Confusion. An illusion. You don't know what's real and what's not. Interesting because the full moon in this moon card reminds me of this bubble here, right? You don't know what's real and you don't know what's not. There's illusion, there's fear. There's a sense of getting in too deep with this particular card because she's sinking in the depths of the ocean. You may be wondering if there's something hidden from you that you cannot see. Oh my, more cards, way too many cards, Fred. Cancer, you are ruled by the moon, but in the tarot, despite what some people may say about tarot, in the tarot, the moon is a card of Pisces. And then this is a card of Libra. Um, but you're influenced by the moon, right? So right now, Cancer, we have a full moon occurring on the 28th. So depending on when you're watching this, it doesn't matter. You're influenced by the full moon. Because the full moon is occurring, the full moon energy for you, Cancer, is influencing on you on the day that I'm recording this, as well as up to three to four days beyond the full moon time frame. So you might be kind of up in your emotions and going a little bit, you know, through some uncertainties about whatever the situation is. Ooh, fear, fear, fear. Uncertainties about what, ooh, fear, yeah. <laughs> whatever the situation is, you may be in the state up until Tuesday of next week. It's 
possible. Now, if you're ever drawn back to this at a later date, it could be your reading then. So Cancer, I know we will get to the main spread between you and a person of interest, but Fred feels very strongly that there is something that needs to be expressed here. So notice, notice these cards. And when we add the Seven of Swords, we have an energy here of a lack of clarity. Oh, and then there's regrets, okay. And then your card. So we have regrets here with the Five of Cups, a feeling of loss, a feeling of regret, a feeling of um, solitude. And with the Seven of Swords, you may have walked away from something. Somebody may have walked away from you. Sometimes with the Seven of Swords, I get ghosting. Um, with the Seven of Swords, it can be a feeling of um, that there's lying or there's deception. Maybe that's on your part or their part. There's this focus here on what is what is real. <laughs> what is real with the High Priestess, the Moon, and the Seven of Swords? What is real and what is illusion? And, and it's like you're trying to trust your intuition, but your intuition is entirely blocked here. Why is it blocked? It's blocked from fear. It's blocked from regret. It's blocked from indecision. And so... Your intuition is currently not on point. There's something here. She's got like this blindfold over her eyes. And there's something here, Cancer, that you don't want to face. And you're kind of hoping that it'll just kind of breeze on out. Breeze on out of your thoughts. Breeze on out of your heart. But here you sit in this emotional energy of the moon. Probably because of the full moon. It's probably bringing some of this up for you. That and this feeling of loss. This feeling of regret. All because of some sort of fear. Now this could be your fear or it could be the fear of another. Some sort of fear that has prevented your forward movement here. That's preventing you from making a decision. That's preventing you from seeing clearly with these two cards. Now, when we see this eight of swords energy, you know, it's looking into, it's looking into your own reflection, right? And maybe there's something here with the seven of swords, maybe some, because we also have regret, there may be something that you said or did that you're looking at and feeling like, oh gosh, was that really me? You know, why did I do that? Um, it could be that you're looking at the actions of another and seeing that perhaps their actions were a result of fear of something that they see in themselves that they don't like. This is being bound and trapped by fears of our own making. Fears that are not actually fears. Fears that if we took the time to consider, we might discover that it's really nothing to be feared at all. But it's fears of our own making when we have this Eight of Swords. And it's like, here's this, this woman all wrapped up in these, the, these binds, right? That she can easily get out of. But it's like these birds, these, these, these little chirping thoughts that are in your head are causing the fear, right? And here they are. They're doing the same thing here in a different way, causing indecision. So, um, whatever this is that you seem to be focusing on here, Cancer... get another card on it um, signs that I see in these cards I see Libra I see Gemini I see Scorpio I see Aquarius I see Cancer and Pisces okay this may have been something that you walked away from with the eight of cups you chose to leave behind but yet it's still plaguing your thoughts Nine of Wands, that's a very defensive energy. Um, there could be a wall built up around you over this situation, or if you're dealing with another person, there could be a wall built up around them. Heartbreak. All right, so the card that's at the bottom, I'm gonna pull it out right now. It keeps showing up at the bottom every time I get a card coming out. This card is on the bottom. 
So with the Empress here, this could be you saying, oh, oh gosh, you know, how, how can I have this new cycle? I've walked away, I've built this wall, I have this heartbreak, I have this indecision, I have this fear, I have this regret. There's something that's occurred here that wasn't right and I can't quite get a hold of my intuition to determine how to have this new beginning, how to have this new cycle start. The Empress is filled with unconditional love. Maybe you're dealing with an Empress person. Maybe you are an Empress person. Um, the Empress is filled with unconditional love, filled with self-love as well. And she's about the cycles of life, the cycles of nature. So when we see the Empress, there's the possibility for abundant love and abundant wealth to come into your life, um, depending on your actions. Ace of Cups. Happiness, connection associated with communication. Communication that brings balance. So it looks after a time of deep thought and reflection. <laughs> deep thought and reflection while you are apart from someone, which is exactly what we're seeing in these cards, right? <laughs> exactly what we're seeing. Like every single negative card we could have gotten for you, Cancer, related to heartbreak and regrets and feelings and, and struggles has shown as a result of you being feeling, you may feel as if you've been passed over with this card or your person feels like they've been passed over. And here's this, this energy of, okay, well, let me think about this. How do I get, how do I get some sort of enlightenment? How do I tap into my intuitive side in order to figure out how to have this new beginning? Well, spirit is saying you have the new beginning by communicating in a loving manner, communicating sweetly and adoringly. Um, so we are going to set that aside <laughs> and we're going to move on to your main spread at 11 minutes and 48 seconds. Fred did the same thing to me for Pisces. They're probably going to do the same thing for Scorpio. All you water signs must be pretty affected by the moon right now. All right. Talk to me about cancer and their person of interest. Now, one, one more thing, cancer. The card that, that they gave us is focus, but with the butterfly here, it's a focus on transformation, transforming some aspect of that connection. All right, Cancer and their person of interest. What is going on with Cancer's person? Oh my goodness, so they give us a card again. I'm not doing it, Fred. <laughs> oh. Okay, Cancer, apparently you're not supposed to get our standard spread, and Fred and I can have a big long talk about that later. Here you are right at the center of everything. Two of Cups. Could be dealing with a soulmate or twin flame. This is you wanting to connect with your person on an emotional level, a physical level, um, a spiritual level, a mental level. It's you wanting to experience that sense of connection with your person, right? Which is beautiful. But here we have you or your person, Cancer, keeping their emotions tight, tight, tight to their chest. They're not showing how they're feeling. They're instead, they're kind of showing sort of a, a stoic kind of attitude or you are of, I don't really care about this connection right now. I've got other things that I'm doing with my life. So I'm just not going to, you know, let on that really deep down inside, I want this connection. So that seems to be happening with them. And with this six of wands, this could be you wanting victory over the situation. With the six of coins here, um, there needs to be an equal give and take if you and this person are going to move forward. Oh my gosh. Six of swords. I think that the difficulties that you and this person have experienced cancer, you're going to be able to move past. We have somebody taking action, either you or your person, but notice what we have. We have a king and queen of cups, a king and queen of emotion. The 
the king, the king and queen that connect on the heart level, connect on an emotional level. It's like, so cancer, whether this is you or this is you, and this is actually a card of cancer in Gemini. So regardless of whether you're a man or woman, this could be you. There's this focus on connecting on the heart space, connecting on a spiritual level, connecting via energy, connecting emotionally. You and this person have an emotional connection. You see things the same way. You feel the same way. You, you have this sense of happiness, contentment, and joy together. And one of you is taking action to make that happen. Now, the, the Nine of Wands can sometimes be a little bit of player energy. So if one of the two of you has exhibited player energy, that may have caused a sense of strain. But this is somebody taking action. Now, the person who's taking action, I feel, has been sitting in this fear state with the Nine of Swords. Losing sleep over this situation, Cancer. You or your person is losing sleep over this situation. Ten of Swords tells me, though, that those burdens of fear are going to be released. There's going to be an illumination of how to release those fears, how to release those mental burdens, how to get past the fear. And with the Death and Rebirth card, I feel that the difficult cycle, which we just had cards on, is coming to an end and bringing light to a new beginning between you and your person, Cancer. Because here's the new beginning, the Ace of Coins. The two of you choosing to put work in on the situation to grow something together and to sprout the seeds of new growth between you. All right, well, let's see where Fred wants to go now. <laughs> Looks like you will not have an extended. Everything will be in your reading here on YouTube, Cancer. Fred, where do you want to go now? Oh my, that really flew out. Judgment in reverse. This means that somebody has made a decision. They have made a decision to have a second chance here to revive something that has been through a difficulty. So, talk to us about that phoenix rising from the ashes. This has occurred in a time of period of the two of you being apart from one another on a break. It's almost like on a break, on the break, in the break time, somebody discovers, hey, I want to revive this. Either you or your person, Cancer. What else do you have for cancer, please? I knew this was gonna be here. Okay, so I thought the card I was turning over was gonna be this card because I saw it in my mind's eye before it came out. So I thought that the card that was on, that was turned over where I couldn't see was this card because that's what I saw in my mind's eye. And here it is on the bottom. So this seems important. So King of Pentacles, somebody's choosing not to give up on the connection. The King of Pentacles never gives up on anything, right? Like come hell or high water, they're charging forward and they're going to get what they want. And they will go through every detour they need to go to to get to that point. The King of Pentacles is extremely stable. They always get to their end goal. They are very good at planning. They're very good at um, moving forward in a strong and consistent manner. And they, uh, they put in an effort. And here is the card that I saw in my mind's eye. The Knight of Cups. This is somebody who's saying, okay, let's communicate. See the little envelope here, the flowers here, the white horse. It's like somebody coming in and saying, let's communicate about how we're feeling, right? It's somebody being charismatic, being charming, being sweet, being adorable. Um, 
The Knight of Cups is sometimes known for um, seeing things through rose-colored glasses, right? It's like, because their desire is to connect on a heart level. And so sometimes this Knight of Cups has trouble seeing the difficulties that are up ahead because they're focused on their feelings, right? And so it's possible that one of the two of you um, may sort of struggle with not following through on their plans as a result of that. Um, we have the knight, the king of wands directly underneath that. So I do feel somebody is taking some sort of action here. Six of cups. That's a desire for a reunion or looking back at things that have transpired between the two of you. It's a beautiful energy of wanting to reconnect. Yep, wanting to reconnect, Page of Cups. Wanting to express how you're feeling, wanting to connect on an emotional level, because these two connect very strongly on the emotional level. Oh my goodness, did you see the card that just came out? <laughs> Hold on. So, one person's a little bit confused about the other. We have a Queen of Coins and a King of Coins. This is two people who are extremely stable but whatever is, is between the two of you is a source of confusion. Whatever is between the two of you is a, a lack of knowing the way forward, right? I mean, this is a guy that's looking at his little empire, trying to figure out what comes next. What does he do? You know, what needs to occur? And so one of the two of you is sitting in this point of confusion of, I, I don't know what to do now. But yeah, the two of you, not only are you an emotionally perfect match, but you're also extremely stable. You're also consistent. All right, Fred, what else for cancer? What else do they need to know? A lot of stuff lying out here, Cancer. Hold on. Anything else? All right, Fred, I'm stopping there. Stopping there. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot and the Three of Coins. You will be able to overcome this obstacle together. All right. Oh my, a lot of cards. Okay, so this appears to be our outcome. All right. Seven of Wands. One of the two of you is very closed off. Let me remove these cards for just a moment. I don't want them to confuse your outcome here. I am going to leave sitting out on my board our king and queen of coins and our king and queen of cups. This is, this is not a second option per se, Cancer. This is one person. They keep falling out on the same person. So we have somebody who's very closed off, does not open up very easily. They're in this little shell. They might be doing their meditative state. <laughs> so Cancer, this could be you sitting there going, oh, <laughs> trying to figure out your sense of peace, right? Your sense. And here's the bubble again, right? The bubble, the bubble, trying to figure things out, being closed off in your little bubble. Trying to gain inspiration. How do we transform the situation? That could be you or your person, Cancer. The Seven of Wands is also an energy of saying, you know what? Okay, I, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to let anybody in right now. But yet somebody's getting very close to getting, getting past the walls that this person has built up. Getting super close to that point. And that's through looking at things from a different perspective, not looking at things through the eyes of this fear that we saw here, right? Not looking at it through the eyes of fear and struggle, but
but looking at things from a different perspective, looking at things through different eyes, from different directions, and trying to find a way forward. Because whomever this is that's wanting to take this action, whether it's you or the other person, Cancer, is trying to figure out, okay, well, what kind of action do we take? There's a little globe here and a little tiny, cute little Volkswagen bug. It's like, how do I move forward? What is my direction? What is my roadmap in order to figure out how to move forward in this situation? Now, there seems to be a focus on travel with the luggage and the globe. So that might be on your mind. But with the Ten of Wands, this is you and your person needing to drop the burdens of fear and struggle in order for the two of you to grow something together. We saw the growth on one of those cards earlier about growing growing together, right? Starting, starting the seeds of change for the two of you. I do see that that is going to be successful if the two of you both put strong effort into the connection. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like this is that light bulb moment. There's a strong focus on the light bulbs here, right? It's that light bulb moment for either you or your person cancer. It's like the light bulb. Oh, I got it. All right. No longer have to figure it out. It's all become clear. And what has become clear? The connection. The strength and stability of the connection, the emotional aspect of the connection, the physical aspect of the connection, the spiritual aspect of the connection. That decision that was trying, that was needing to be made here becomes made for a new beginning towards your happiness, towards happiness and fulfillment. Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. You can thank Fred for that. Because <laughs> we were just going to do our standard spread. So hopefully that is of help to you, Cancer. As always, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.